Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy A32 uh, LTE model. This one has four gigabytes of RAM coupled along with 128 gigabytes of internal storage, a 6.4 full HD plus display with the AMOLED uh, screen display. So it's really good. It's for the for the weight, it's 184. It has an in-display fingerprint sensor, which as you can see, it sometimes it doesn't work. So it's not like the most snappiest in the world, but one of the things that I want to show you that was new was that this thing is getting an Android update. Now, this thing does have a, a MediaTek processing chip, so just keep that in mind. The one that it has is the Helio G80, which is, in my opinion, it, it's a little bit sluggy, but when it comes to performance, such as gaming and um, things like that, it's actually pretty good. But they're, they're adding here with these, um, I'm getting a May 1st security patch right here for this guy. And it's telling me that this guy will get a new stability bug fixes, secure um, security will be improved. Also the touch screen has been improved and also the camera has been improved and um, the Google RC uh, S rich communications, they've added that as an as a new feature on here. So that's just for the May 1st update. So I just wanna go ahead and install this one but um, I'm gonna install this one and um, I'm gonna get back to the video in just a second. All right, so the phone, I actually picked it up after that update where it said that it was gonna give this fasting performance, faster um, camera shutter speeds and focusing as well. But I just wanna see if there's any general improvement when it comes to using this thing as far as just like you know what I'm saying the general performance so let me see if um, there's any right now obviously it's gonna be laggy because um, it's loading up right now for the first time after I did the March 1st patch the one after well actually May 1st so look it's super laggy right now so I gotta wait for it to finish loading up everything all right so it still has that s s slight lag I'm not sure if it's still loading right now but there's a s slight lag on here but you could see the screen looks absolutely gorgeous when i'm using it because it has that 90 hertz uh, for for refresh rate so i really like this device because it has that but it's not the zippiest phone that i've ever used in the world but i really do like that 90 hertz ref adaptive refresh rate as you can see right here so it goes up to 90 to 60. um <clears throat> see like i just swiped up and nothing happened so that's the only thing that bothers me sometimes is like when I do something, I don't always get, um, you know what I'm saying? It's not always the most snappiest phone in the world. So let's go down here into about phone and uh, let's see software updates. Let's just click here and see if the Android 11 is available at this moment. All right, guys, you can see it's on May 1st, 2021, which is pretty cool. And um, I just checked and it said that this device was completely up to date. So um, there's no Android 11 yet. I'll just have to wait for that. But um, there's no Android 11 for this one yet. So let me just show you when I go to about phone and go into software information. Well, actually, yeah, this is already running Android 11. So we do have a new um, security patch for this guy which is really cool, the May 1st, 2021 with Android 11 3.1 as well. So like I said, this guy is up to date with the security patch um, of, of May 1st. And um, I think that's pretty cool because, you know, you, you, you get um, some better performance with that May 1st update with the cameras and things of that nature. Um, so let me just go right here. So we do have that edge panel as well which is on the phone so if you if you ever want to activate that the edge panel is there um now the only thing is that with this phone it, I, I i um it's sort of weird because it's on that corner as you can see right there but i have to like you know what i'm saying it's not easy to get that thing open let me show you what i'm talking about so the you see i have edge panel on 
but when I swipe on it, it doesn't actually, I might have done a setting where like it's not recognizing, you know what I'm saying? It's just not, it's there, but it's not working. You know what I mean? So this phone has some weird thing to it. Cause like, oh, there we go. So I was able to get it to open up. Let me see, let me try that again. So it's like a long press or something with this guy. But as you see, we do get the May 1st security patch on here. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, so we do have some really um, good performance on this guy overall. It does game really well with the 90 Hertz refresh rate. It looks pretty smooth when you're using it and um, you know browsing through the interface. The icons are are nice you know what i mean it's, it can get laggy it does have dolby atmos nearby shared do not disturb you get your um volume controls right here on the side which is pretty cool and um it's really fun to play around with when you open that up you get the media controls as, as well they got the dark mode implemented on here uh and uh you know it's a solid device um for, for the money. So I just, I really like this device for the price, but let me know what you guys think down below about the May 1st security update. You can see I, I activated it to where the flash is now my notification light on this device. So I think that's pretty cool about this guy. What is this Samsung goals? But yeah, overall, I really like the dark blacks on this one. Um, it's got that um, Android 11 on here, the 3.1 UI as well. So just a really zippy phone. Uh, getting to social media is really nice on this thing because uh, everything is gonna look really nice and bright. Colors are really, really saturated and they, they look really good. So I definitely think that looks pretty sweet. Um, but we, get, we definitely get some good performance with this one, um, you know. Things, things load pretty well, but I'm on Wi-Fi, the five gigahertz Wi-Fi. So, um, you know, everything just looks pretty snap and snappy as well. And I'm um, on this device too. So I definitely like using it. So I just wanted to show you that, but you can see the lines there on the screen that you're seeing. It's not actually on the screen. It's just showing up like that because my phone is um, an AMOLED display. So the A32 does have an AMOLED display. So anytime you look at the screen, it's going to show up like that. So I just want to let you guys see that. But if I like was to raise the brightness, I'm sure it would go away. Let me see. Put that all the way up and see if it goes away. It's still there. Probably got to lower it right here. It's still there. So yeah, just it's not going to go away. But I just wanted to show you that this device did get updated to the May 1st update. But let me know what you guys think about the updated um, the updated software. Let me see if the can anything changed in the side of the camera. It still takes like three seconds for that thing to open. So that's kind of annoying. I just hit portrait and it took two seconds just to open up that window. So there's no real improvement when it comes to the speed because you see everything has a lag to it. I just hit video and nothing happened. So that's the only thing with this phone that I don't like is that you can see how long it took to go to the more and show up, show this option. It's just kind of annoying, but um it seems like they still it still does that you see what i'm saying so it got a little bit better to be honest but it still has that one second to two second delay like when on any anything that i'm doing i could see like there's a, a slight delay so I, that that's what bothers me with this phone because uh, not all phones do that it's just this one um, shouldn't be doing that for the for the amount of money that you spend with it and for the price so I do like the, the photos on here and I also do like the video quality on here I just wish that it was a little bit more snappy when it came to opening up the camera and when it came to the shutter um, like I, I missed a lot of moments with that I tried to open up the camera to take a, a shot 
real fast and I missed the moment because the camera um, it had a lag to it. It took like four or five seconds or something to open. So let me know if you're having that issue with this device. Um, but the pictures and the video come out really nice. I just wish that it was a little bit more zippy. That's kind of cool how I did that. You can see the background is a little bit darker. But yeah, this thing does take really good photos and everything like that. But let me know which, if you got the May 1st update for the Samsung Galaxy A32. And uh, I'll get right back with you later, group. Peace.